I delete the existing security footage, the stuff, especially the stuff with Kumin. <laughs> right? Okay. Smart. Anything, smart. anything that involves us or Kumin, like I delete basically everything from the past hour, right? Okay. And I want to uh, do a systems or driver update, something that's going to take a really long time, like a Windows update that's going to restart like 80 million times. <laughs> so okay. <laughs> It's gonna do like a cleaning cycle first and you know, defrag and then it's gotta do this on the security camera system so that that is gonna be non-functional for at least another four hours. Okay. And then I wanna tell the nearest turbo lift, the one that we were just in, uh -huh. should be empty. And before I turn the cameras off, I check. It's empty. That's the one that's going upstairs. Okay. And I tell Kuman on the communicator, like, this turbo lift is going up to the apartment. So. I'll meet yeah. it on the. Yeah, can I, can I meet it on the fourth floor, maybe? If it makes a stop, or can it make a stop, or should I just go through the fence? That's it for you guys. If you want to essentially step into the turbo lift and hit floor four, we can have an exciting athletics role to get, you know, slide in before the doors close again. Or, I like that. oh man, I can do that. <laughs> I like the sound of that though. And his hat falls out, and it's the Indiana Jones like, <laughs> grab it arm out before it closes. Um, but before you guys get to the fourth floor, um, the deleting and setting up the defrag is going to take a little bit extra time. So Kuman has to make another stealth check to not okay. get caught. Now, this is the stealth check in which I take the paint and I write, "Rot was here." but I spell here H-E-A-R because I'm also <laughs> subtly insulting his intelligence. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you can have a blue, a blue die for that. All right. Man, you're killing it. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. God. This triumph is they totally believe it was Ross the whole time. <laughs> it's his exact handwriting. Yeah, it's, <laughs> yes. Uh, I've finally. got them so confused that uh, they are all on the opposite side of the building of where I want to go uh, to the elevator. So I'm, I, yeah, I'm not gonna have any trouble with the elevator. Yeah, I think that yeah. you're gonna you're gonna get straight there. And I think that you wrote the rot is here was here uh, on the opposite side of the building. I think that the entire yeah. security contingent at the moment is standing hands on the hips, staring at this artwork, <laughs> trying to understand why he would implicate implicate himself. <laughs> While it's spelling? just a training scenario, like you've taken like the least misdemeanor you can have for just trespassing when you shouldn't be there, vandalized property, <laughs> and then claimed responsibility. Can can I just can, for the record, the, the worst crime in this place is vandalism and destruction of property. He it's just true. implied that Rot did the worst crime you could ever do, and that's destroyed property. Right. I have no idea who that is, but now he's like criminal number one of <laughs> yes. oh, yeah. who is this this vandal vigilante that has suddenly popped up. <laughs> the the ways of the Sith are nefarious and mysterious. <laughs> we Didn't may never also, understand. In my head, I just see. I yeah. just feel like he's Scooby Doo. Yeah, yeah, like like yeah. like a like a cartoon of himself, like a little stylized. <laughs> it's it's more stick figure than not, yeah. unless we yeah, want to roll to to paint the the stick figure. But it has. Would I? <laughs> you've had blue paint everywhere, and somewhere you found like a red like oh, dry yeah, erase marker yeah. that yeah. you've yeah. done the the lightsaber <laughs> with. And they're they're, they're, like, they're genuinely concerned for both his sanity and <laughs> what is he why, doing? Yeah. Why would he take a simple trespassing and, and then make it the worst crime you could commit? That's and then that's there's the does. ding and the doors open. Sit, not even once. <laughs> and you just you don't even have to make an athletics check with that because no one's chasing you at this point. And you just stroll right in. So we're all in that turbo, turbo lift going up, right? Yep. You're hearing the the uh, elevator music, music as you ride up. The door opens. I walk on. I turn around. 
as the door closes, smirk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it straight closes on you. Like the the camera shot is of the door shutting while you smirk. Yeah. yeah. That's I great. Love it. And we're real close to done. Are you guys okay to keep going for a little bit longer? Yeah. Sure. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um I really want to make some perception checks in that apartment. That's what we're mm -hmm. to now, because you, you get up to the apartment. And it's pretty much empty, but you've got to find some incriminating evidence. So uh, start perceiving the apartment and or helping Lizzie perceive the apartment. I'm going to perceive can, the crap yeah. out of this apartment. I can think of another breeze for everyone. Do what? Is that a free roll for everyone or? Like, is it just think, like, what do we all see? Uh, you can all roll perception if you want, but you can also find ways to even further assist Lizzie's perception check if you want. Uh, it's going to, it's, it's starting as a formidable check as you just step off the elevator and you're looking around. Um, as you get more specific, it might change. Okay, so just to get our bearings. And a black dice because the lights are off right now. That's four. That's four. Four. Uh, four purple and a black. Four purple and a black to find the light switch, basically, is what you're saying. No, I'm saying if you're going to look for incriminating evidence as you step off the elevator and you're just looking oh. around, that's four purple and a black. Otherwise, you can make some, uh, you can tell me some of the other actions you're doing to make this easier, <laughs> is what I'm saying. Oh, so yeah, let's turn the lights on. And possibly look for an office type area. Yeah, and we're not touching anything with our hands. I don't know if fingerprints are a thing in Star Wars, but noted. I don't know if they are. The precaution either, is being. Uh, are they? Yeah. Just a little elbow. Right. Light on. Yeah. So Lizzie takes out one of her other silk handkerchiefs and is. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, that was the one with no, it wasn't. DNA, tentacle <laughs> DNA on it. And now you're... Definitely not that one. <laughs> Um, I don't know that one made it out of the Dicey Candina. Yeah, it yeah. definitely did. Um, I think uh, uh, Brax took it as a trophy, like a cow trophy. Yeah, I think he's down currently. If we flash over to the Dicey Cantina right now, Brax down at the bar, and he has the handkerchief with this just slight blood stain on it. And he's telling <laughs> everyone, my friend Cal took a tentacle out of this and reattached it. It's so he's amazing. <laughs> Just going on and on. And now we're back over here as so, you guys are wandering around. So there's the office kind of in the back um, with a computer desk to it. There's a uh, kitchen. There's the living room you guys were part of with the art installation. And, and I also checked the bedroom, like the nightstand, the types of places where you would keep stuff. If she has any purses or briefcases, you know, we just rifle. We try not to make it look like it was ransacked. Yeah. But I'm definitely pulling paintings off the wall looking for wall safes. I'm, I'm not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not convinced my people have fingerprints, so. All right. So uh, what kind of I, check is that? Yeah. All right. Are we so, assisting or is it one all of us roll? Oh, I mean, you guys can can roll the different things that you're doing. I mean, Kuman at least needs to make his own perception check behind those paintings. Um, the the rifling, uh, I think that from the experience of who this person is, as you guys try and perceive against it, I really should be looking at these stats and not making them up off the top of my head because I took that before. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. So it's really supposed to be four reds is what it's supposed to be that you're perceiving okay. against. Wow. So she's really hidden stuff is what you're saying. <laughs> that is or like she's really good story. at hiding stuff is what I'm saying. Okay, but I'm really good at finding stuff. And I look in the places where you might hide like a secret stuff. medical bunker, <laughs> an Anne Frank panic room. <laughs> like. <laughs> She has experience with those. Yeah, so you can get a couple blue dice. Let's say two blue dice to your perception. Okay. But it's still going to be four red. Okay. Four red and any purple? No. No purple. Okay, just four so red. Three? Did you say three or two? Blue. Two blue. Two blue. Two extra okay. blue. 
of something. Be a lot of guys. Could be so and this is assuming, Cal, you're adding help as opposed to making your own roll against that. Okay, that's fine. I mean, that's fine. I was going to also roll against four red. Um, uh, no, you're rolling just a average perception check against those. Don't I have like a force tree nice. thing that I can use? Um, I th nice. thought that was the blue dice is the, the oh, that you have added. Is, yeah. That I have added? I believe so. You've been rolling with two blue dice on your... Oh, yeah, no, it's it's a passive thing. I, yeah. I don't have an active... Oh, I do. It's influence, but that doesn't help me here. Yeah, influence won't help you out here. That's... Awesome. So I rolled okay. two threat, but I also rolled a triumph. So you ding the edge of one of these art things, devaluing oh, awesome. it. Can it, yeah, <laughs> can it be that one that, that Lizzie pointed out earlier? No, that's a sculpture. You can't ding it. I'll hurt you. <laughs> uh, can I, ding it can I scuff it's a, it? It's a huge bronze sculpture by a Nautilin <laughs> artist. He'll understand. It's practically... <laughs> <laughs> so Kumin, okay, well actually here here's where we're at since we want to deal with the the bronze sculpture uh lizzie you still have to make your perception check but the um can i uh but for my tr never mind you don't need to so something else. <laughs> your threat wow. and triumph we're, we're gonna let me catch up a little bit sorry that's just the what did the the, the i think that Kumin notices that this nautilin artist bronze sculpture um, abstractly is still, how do you, how do you put it? It's, it's still inspired by uh, the Nautilin form, right? Yes. So it's abstractly a person. It's not an actual person, mm -hmm. but it's abstractly a person. And Kuma notices that there's essentially a, A, a bit that's out of place to it. Damage to the genital area? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not that person. <laughs> I think we're, you know, extra tentacle on uh, account. Uh, you know, there's 15 instead of 14. That's that's just bad. That's just bad art. <laughs> Wrong. That's, yeah, right? inaccurate anatomy, man. So, and it looks at modern it, art goes too far. It looks extra attached. Like it may not be a part of the the artwork itself. Oh well, so obviously I'm going to reach up and try to you know pull it off. <laughs> it snaps right <laughs> off. Oh, excellent. <laughs> and we'll come back to that in a second. Um, I can't believe you're all. I got real lucky. That's it, phenomenal. It made up for that really terrible roll. Really. <laughs> yeah. Uh, right. So, as you're rifling around, Lizzie, you basically um, uncover the data pad in um, Vale's office that is her ledger and communications. So, her email or, or her letters or whatever the Star Wars equivalent of is, um, but also taking note of transactions that are on there. Um, and as you go through it, she's left in such a hurry to, um, as required by the uh, Druckwell police, it's not locked. And so you notice that this is exactly what you've been looking for. Um, and on it is uh, a series of correspondence between Vale and the Empire uh, outlining this plan to have a special ops group insert themselves into blast tech to defect to look like rebels to point all of the things to help strengthen the imperial grip on Druckenwell. um and in exchange for brokering this deal she's going to get a uh, governorship over uh, a nearby sector i forget which one i have to look up my notes but it doesn't matter because it's not actually important um she's not going to get it if you hey. if you get this data pad to the proper authorities it would um dismantle this imperial plot 
the thing you do notice about it, uh, since you've got a few extra advantage, is that SGI has expertly insulated themselves from this, though, too. Um, all of the correspondence are directly between Vale and the Empire. And even though they're talking about the hit taking place outside of SGI, there isn't any culpable evidence to prove that SGI is more, as in bed with the Empire as Lizzie knows them to be. Okay. She still can't prove that SGI is a problem yet. Okay. She takes her little thumb drive out, right? And does that Pepper Potts copy the bad information from the computer thing right here, right now? She's gonna... I think that to do this is, um, for it to be incriminating evidence, you have to take that data pad with you. Okay, we take it. Yeah. I just... It, it's essentially like a Kindle that is like registered to her, so that it is her information, and it's okay. currently unlocked. So you hand that over to the right people. You you have what you need. Okay, it's it's, it's not theft. It's uh, confiscating evidence. evidence. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right, and while I'm here, I feel like she owes me some money. Did I find? <laughs> <laughs> you found her ledger and her transactions, so that would essentially give you some access to her bank account. Uh, well, but you yeah. are going to have to roll a computer's check to hack That's her password to steal her money. Oh. I don't Could, really want to steal her money. Just what Could we're we? owed. And, uh, and yeah, an as part of the evidence, check. you notice she never initiated any transaction with you guys. Oh, like Maybe it's we not. Take a piece here. of art. That's comparable. Kuman has a piece <laughs> of it. <laughs> you got a piece of art. <laughs> Yeah, you do. It's that flip I put on the back of your head. That's a piece of art. I want to also see if I can have her, like, does she have call logs or a journal or something, a diary? Anything that would show when she calls Jeeves? Like, oh. a record of that? I don't think so. Okay. But is there anything can... else of interest in the apartment? Do I need to make another roll, or is this the only thing I find? This is the only thing you need to find. Okay. Um, cool. Because, like I said, we were getting close to the end. This is your the evidence that you need. Um, so... All right. I tell the guys, like, hey, I I think we got what we came here for. Let's let's get out of here. Walk out nice and easy, right? Yeah. Well, the elevator's door is open before you get there. I'm sure they do. And I have that data pad secreted away on my person already. Like, it is already not. I'm not like. So, as the doors open up, as you guys are getting ready to head out, and Kuman has this um, abstract tentacle, extra tentacle piece from the sculpture, um, the GM flips another dark side token to bring balance to the force. So it's two and two. Not balance. So you guys have two left. Kuman, since you had a triumph, what you've discovered is that it is indeed a basic lightsaber. Another one? Man. Okay. <laughs> and off the elevator steps rot. <laughs> that, I, I knew was he was not in the building. Here. No. <laughs> get out, get out, get out. We have to leave right now. He is standing between your only exit currently. Or we could go out the window. Like, how bad's the fall, really? Well, you're oh. 50 stories up. So, the I worst. In the Star Wars universe, it takes six feet to kill you. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong, give or take a few inches. Um, and so we're rolling initiative now. Ray. Okay. Is that cool? It's got to be cool. Come on. got to be cool. Um, you can roll cool. That's fine. Where did I put his I card? Roll it blank with yeah. difficulty. No difficulty, just okay. your cools or your vigilance, whatever you like. Please vigilance. Oh wait, wait, not with all that crap. Hold on. <laughs> oh yeah, not with all that. <laughs> None of that. Man, cow's so cool. <laughs> He's so cool. He's there he is. Sick. All right. Oh wait, sorry. It it should be. Uh... Whoa. Hey. Dang. Yeah. I did nice. a thing. You're killing it tonight with your rolls. Yeah. I honestly never expected you to, to roll, actually get a success on that four red. 
I, That's the hardest roll I've ever seen. That was a really rough roll. Hopefully, hey, okay. maybe we'll get paid for once in our lives. <laughs> maybe we'll have a case. How for really once? <laughs> Thanks for joining us. You know the deal here. Subscribe to stay tuned to our misadventures. If you enjoyed us, give us a like and hit that bell icon. And of course, keep us honest on the rules and let us know your thoughts in the comments below. See you next time on the Dicey Cantina. Bye.